Hello everyone. Welcome to this video tutorial, how to get started with the Syncfusion Xamarin Forms autocomplete control. This tutorial will show how easy it is to add items to the autocomplete control and perform searches to pick an item from among them. In this tutorial, I will be using Visual Studio 2017 with Xamarin already installed. I will demonstrate how to create an application in Xamarin Forms for Android, iOS, and UWP. To get started, let's first open Visual Studio. And then create a new project. Choose Cross Platform. And then Mobile Application for Xamarin Forms. Name this application Getting Started. And then click OK. Now we will be prompted to choose the platforms and code sharing strategy. For this project, we will leave all the platforms selected and use the .NET standard code sharing strategy. Also, we will be creating a blank app which is selected by default. Next, click OK and wait for Visual Studio to set up the project. While that's happening, let's take a brief tour of the features of the Syncfusion Autocomplete control. Syncfusion Autocomplete is highly optimized to quickly load and populate suggestions from a large volume of data, depending on the user's input characters. Autocomplete supports multi-selection with token representation or delimiters. Users can load and search a million items in an instant. Autocomplete supports on-demand loading to limit the number of suggestions shown in the drop-down. Diacritics can be used in items and searches. Also, we can create our own search logic using custom search functionalities. The control even supports a provision to set the number of characters required to support matching. We can pick from various filtering options, such as starts with, contains, and ends with. OK, now the project is ready. The first thing we have to do is add the required assemblies for autocomplete from the NuGet Packet Manager. Right-click the solution and choose Manage NuGet Packages for Solution. On this screen, click the Browse tab and then search for SF Autocomplete. Select the SF Autocomplete package for Xamarin Forms and choose the projects it is to be installed in. In this case, it is all the projects. Then click Install. Make sure to read and accept all the licensing agreements and then continue with the installation. Now the projects are ready. For this example, let's set Android as the startup project. Now we are ready to add Syncfusion SF Autocomplete Control to the project. Let's start with the main page XAML file from the Getting Started shared project. To add the autocomplete control to the page, we need to add the class reference to the XAML file. At the top, add XAML NS Autocomplete and then choose the namespace Syncfusion Autocomplete. Now we will add a tag to the Syncfusion control to the default stack layout. Let's build and deploy the project in Android and view it in our Android emulator. Now we can see the autocomplete is loaded without items. We need to use a list of type string to populate items. So add the namespace XAML NS collection and choose generic collection. Now let's create the instance of autocomplete and add autocomplete source. Create a list with type argument as string from the collection namespace.
add the string value violet and six more items with different values. Let's use indigo, blue, green, yellow, orange, and red. Let's build and deploy the project. Now the items are loaded and related items are suggested. To choose multiple items, we must enable multi-selection support by setting the multi-select property as token. Let's build and deploy the project. Now red is chosen along with green and blue. Next, let's set the UWP project as our startup project and deploy it to the local machine to see it. All right, here we can see the exact same experience and suggestions on our UWP project as we did in Android. Now let's deploy the same project in iOS. To do this, I already connected to a Mac on my network and I will set the iOS project as the startup project. Additionally, Xamarin does not load the render assemblies by default in a Xamarin Forms iOS project. In order to resolve this, you must call init method of the SF Autocomplete Renderer class in the finished launching overloaded method in the app delegate class in the iOS project. Let's build and deploy the project through the iPhone simulator. So everything works as it did on Android and UWP. Now the Xamarin app is fully cross-platform capable. All the features are present and everything works as expected. We hope you found this video helpful.